Manuals. Usually they come with your bike. But let's be honest, who reads those? And if you do, what do you remember of it? That's why BBB Cycling made working on your bike a bit easier with Watch That Manual. You don't need to read anything because we'll show you exactly what to do and what not to do. As one of the three points of contact with your bicycle, the handlebar and its position have a major impact on your comfort and performance. How you sit determines whether you can accelerate and really enjoy your ride. If you need to make adjustments, your stem is easy to replace. In Watch That Manual, we show you how exactly to replace your stem in easy steps. Which stem you choose makes a big difference. Do you want to sit more compact or more aero? Do you want to be more stretched out? Do you want to sit more upright? Your stem makes all the difference with these decisions. A bike fitting can also give you more insight to improve your position. Choose the length and angle of your stem that you need, or go for a stem that is adjustable if you want flexibility. Also, be sure to know the clamp size of your handlebar. Modern handlebars come in three sizes, 25.4, 31.8, and even 35 millimeters. Choose the stem with the correct clamp size. Do you want to sit more upright but your head tube is too short? Then you can mount the tube extend to create more length without having to replace your fork. Easy. Okay, enough talking. Here's a tip. If your bike is up in the stands, keep the front wheel and fork in place with a strap. Then, starting by facing the front of the bike, loosen the faceplate bolts on the stem and carefully remove the handlebars. Loosen the faceplate bolts of your old stem. Just a few turns, they don't have to be removed. And then remove the top cap and any spacers. Note, at the moment that your top cap bolt comes loose, make sure you keep everything in place. Place your new stem on the steer tube and make sure that it's at the angle that you want. Ideally, the top of the steer tube is just a few millimeters below the top of the stem. If that space is not there, place an extra spacer under or above the stem. The space is necessary for correct tension on the headset. Then, mount your handlebars and tighten the faceplate bolts crosswise. The markings on the handlebars help you mount it straight and centered. Make sure the distance between the faceplate and the stem itself is equal at the top and the bottom of the faceplate. Use a torque wrench if necessary, especially with a carbon handlebar. Correctly adjusting the tension on your headset is a sensitive job. Your handlebars and fork should be able to turn smoothly and not be too tight. There should also be no play on the fork. Here are the steps. Make sure the clamp bolts on the stem are loose. Slowly tighten the top cap bolt until you feel some resistance. Always check for play by squeezing your front brake and moving your bike back and forward. Tighten the top cap incrementally until there's no play, but your bars still move smoothly to the left and right. If your handlebars no longer move smoothly, loosen the top cap bolt just a little bit. Finally, tighten the clamp bolts on your stem. All done. Check all the bolts one more time before you start cycling again. Now you know how to replace your stem all by yourself with Watch That Manual.